Hello everyone. So today I'm going to give you a demo how to load a file into a table using ODI. So ODI stands for Oracle Data Integrator. It is an ETL tool from the house of Oracle and it uses an ELT approach rather than the conventional ETL approach using the target server's own computation power and processing power rather than relying on a third server for the ETL processing. So in this video, I'm already assuming that you guys have the basic understanding of the ODI, its various windows like navigator, operator, designer, and the various components like mapping, procedure, and physical schema, logical schema, and models. So this is a little bit next step tutorial if you are a learner. And for this purpose, for the tutorial, I'm using the Oracle 12C ODI VM, which is already configured. Let me go to the ODI studio and connect to the repository. Wallet password will be welcome one, which is the defect. Check. Oh, sorry. One. Connect to the supervisor. <clears throat> For this tutorial, I have already prepared the files and I have placed it in my GitHub. So I will be providing the link in the comment section below uh, in the video description. Sorry. So you guys can download the whole folder. For the convenience, I have already downloaded the required files here. Let me open the employees.sql and let me quickly create a table. This table will be our target table. So let me connect to the HR database. This database comes in pre installed with the Oracle VM. So right now, our ODI will be using the local database for all its repositories. So let me create the table if it's already existing. Okay. Let me so right now table is empty. Okay. Load a data from a source to target we have to create a mapping. So let us uh, let me create a new project for this tutorial purpose. And let me name it as I load. Okay, just for the demo purpose it is. You can save it. You can see there is already first over folder. So let me rename it as employees okay that's for our demo purpose we are using it now in order to load data from a flat file to the target table we have to create two physical schema one physical schema will be for the database connection and second physical schema will be with the file or the path where the file is situated. So let me copy this file in CSV. And I have created a folder ODI test. Inside that we have a folder stage. So let me delete the existing files and paste the new file. In production, we always pull or download or SFTP the files into a staging folder. So that's why I have named the folder as stage. Let me go to the ODI. Let me create a physical schema for the file path. I can use the existing data server here and create a new physical schema. So let me give the path of the file. Okay. 
let me also create the database connection we name it as trg hr username will be my hr i can copy the jdbc from the existing connections test the connection okay yeah it's working fine let me create a physical schema inside this data server let me keep my working schema and schema as hr save it okay now once i'm done with the physical schema let me create the logical schemas let me give it the name Give the name TRG HR. Okay, now I'm done with my with the creation of my physical schema and against them the logical schema. Let me create some model. Let me create a new folder. Oh, sorry. Let me create a new folder here. give it the name file load itself inside the file load let me create two separate models for file and for the table for the file let me give it the name as employees file technology file logical schema will be employees file Save it. Create a new data store in it, which will be a file type. Oh, sorry. Uh, this uh, in ODI the file is treated as a table only. The structured files are treated as a table, so it will be table type only. So let me give it a name. Employee file. Let me give the aliases. Let me keep the alias as EMP. Data store. So resource name. So here I need to choose the file from where I have to download the data. So here I have employees.csv. Let me open it. Go to files. It is delimited file. So let me view the file first. So here I can see I have a header of the columns. Then I can see the various values. It's a delimited file. We got separator units. Field separator is com. Go to the attributes and reverse engineer. Yes. So you can see it has extracted the eight strings or eight columns. 
which are called as which are called as attributes here in ODI. Now I can see my employee IDs of number, salary, manager ID, department ID. They all are they all are number type. Here date is date type. So here I'll be changing the data types. And save the model. Also, if you see in the CSV file, my first row is the header row. So I need to mention here the heading, a number of lines which are of header as one. Save it. Create a new model for the table. Let me name it as HR technology oracle logical schema will be trg hr go to reverse engineer and import the table that you want to load the files data with so its name is xx employees i don't want to remove any characters from the table name so let me remove it Go to selective reverse engineering and check the new data stores. Looks good. Now click on the reverse engine. Save the model. Yes. So I can see ODI has imported the table. So when it imports the table in, into a model folder, it extracts the various information about the table, like its attribute its type and the various check constraint so now i have my table and my, my table model and the file model prepared so i can create a mapping for the same let me name is load employees In this table, I will be giving my source and the target models. So let me drag and drop them here. Let me map it. Let me map the columns based on the position. Now let me go to the physical and choose the suitable knowledge module for loading purpose. Okay, so what I want is LKM for SQL uh, from, from file to SQL, which I don't see here. So let me load that into this new project that I have created. Go to knowledge module. Loading, import knowledge module. And here you see LKM file to SQL. So let me select that. So file to SQL LKM is a very generic LKM or knowledge knowledge module, which can be used with any other database as well apart from Oracle. So knowledge modules are like the code templates, which are uh, structured in a way mentioning the necessary information of the file loading for example file loading so in a file loading there are always a fixed step like this is the file these are the attributes now load this file into an external table based on its attribute once it is loaded into an external uh, once it is loaded as an external table we can load the content of that external table to a temporary table and after that we can move the content from temporary table to the actual target table and after all these loading is done we can delete the temporary objects we have created so all these processes can be written in 
the code templates in a step by step format and those that that package of the code template is called as knowledge module so let me choose the knowledge module lkm file to sql here we save it now hire date is a date here so i need to change it to date format so let me use to date confirm the date format it is dd m1 yy Now let me run this module. First, let me validate it. Okay, that's fine. Only warnings, no error as such. So let me run this mapping. You can press this play button, or either you can go to this run section. Let me run it. Let me go to the operator and view the session. I can see it shows a success sign. So let me see if data has been loaded or not. So I can see 25 rows recorded here. Let me go to the ODI and the session information. Let me open the session and I can see the session instance ID, global ID of the session. Here is my session ID as well. Instance ID, then number of inserts, 25. Total number of rows, 50. If I go to the step, I can see 25 rows were loaded first into a temp table and after that it was loaded into the target table. So I can see 25 plus 25, it's 50. Well, the actual inserted record count is 25. The total time taken by our session is one second. So here we are done with the tutorial where we can see that we have loaded a file, a flat file, into a target table. Thank you.